happy Monday morning. Most people hate Mondays. See it as a, a full work week ahead of them, but really you should look at it as a full opportunity week ahead of you. Go make the most of it. We got weightlifting this morning. We're gonna do some snatching and some clean and jerks. What else would you do? That's a lot of optimism for uh, five in the morning on a Monday, isn't it guys? I'm bringing it at you full force. So first thing we're doing, sets of two, snatch. Um, no more than eight sets and I can go up until I miss twice. <laughs> for a double, I'll take that baby. Moving on, we're doing a little EMOM with clean and jerks. One every minute on the minute for 10 minutes. Increasing weight each time. Trying to work up to pretty much a heavy single. Spent too much energy readjusting my grip. Oh well, I'm happy with it. Imams are harder because freaking no rest. But 225, we'll take it. All right, last but not least, time to hit some front squats. Get these legs a little stronger. So we worked up to a pretty heavy single. Now we got to drop it down to 85% and hit four reps. So we're set right here. Legs are pretty smoked. Got to head to work. We'll see you afterwards. So, while I was home this weekend, my dad was asking me a couple questions and he was like, Chris, I mean, I love your content, but you know, you, you're a fitness channel and you're going out and eating donuts and stuff, like, what's that all about? And I was like, well, you know, you're right, dad, and he, he really told me I should maybe talk about that and why I do that. So, dad and everyone else who's wondering, why I love donuts and why I eat them even though I'm a fitness guru. Here's why. So I want to address the issue, man, of this nutrition thing. So basically, I see it like this. We're going to draw a little chart. On the bottom, we're going to have food quality on the side, we're going to have unsatisfaction. All right, so as food quality increases, in my opinion, so does unsatisfaction with how 
satisfied you are by that food. Because I don't know about you, but I don't get very satisfied by eating kale and dry chicken all the time. So, with that being said, as the food quality increases, unsatisfaction increases as well. And I feel like you can get to a point where you've been eating this quality food for so long and you're so unsatisfied that you just give up. You say, screw this, I'm, I'm done. And you go back, back down to point A. So you started here, you got all the way here, you did all this hard progress, all this hard work, and then you just fell off right back to where you started, back to eating terrible food, terrible quality food, because you want that satisfaction back. You're, you're upset with how unsatisfied you are by this, this quality food. In my opinion, and what I've found to be the best approach is, you incentivize yourself with maybe a donut or some ice cream or whatever. So you incentivize yourself with a donut or some ice cream at the end of the week, maybe a Saturday or Sunday. And that way you can go throughout the, the week eating these healthy foods, these quality foods. You know, you're still a little unsatisfied, but you have the uh, thought in your back of your head, okay, at the end of the week, I get a donut. So I'm gonna eat unhealthy or I'm gonna eat healthy and stay at this, you know, maybe a little bit unsatisfied. But that's okay because on Saturday I get a donut and that's going to satisfy me and then throughout the rest of that week I can, I can go back to eating quality foods, I can stay on the track and that way I don't end up here. I stay here, you know, I'm not all the way at the, the very top of the quality, which is fine. I'm just a little bit below and I'm staying there for a prolonged period instead of going all out balls to the wall eating quality foods only and then dropping off. At, at the end because I just hated it so much. Wait, 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 hold up, Chris. Those donuts, man, they're high glycemic. That's no good. You're gonna die. You're gonna gain 100 pounds. My macros, I eat uh, three grams per pound of weight. Uh, I eat. Uh Wrong. You can, you can go ahead and eat some high glycemic carbs every once in a while. It's gonna be okay, I promise. You won't die. I know uh, CrossFit, all those guys, a lot of nutritionists say low glycemic, that's the only thing you can eat. If not, you're, you're doomed. I promise you're not doomed. You'll be all right. At the end of the day, when the dust is all settled, you know, at the end of our lives, what's a couple donuts every weekend going to matter? Nothing. And if you're not enjoying your nutri- if you're not enjoying what you're doing, you know, if you're eating kale and chicken every day because you have to and you freaking hate it, I, I don't know. I just probably wouldn't, wouldn't want to go that route. I want to have enjoyment. You know, I'm still gonna work hard for for my nutrition, my training, but I'm still gonna enjoy a little treat every once in a while, and I promise I won't I won't be that far off. So we're at the gym, gonna do a bunch of ring dips, work on that, and then we're doing a workout called Kelly, 500 meter run, and then 30 box jumps, 24 inches, 30 wall balls, 20 pounds, five rounds. Ring dips, knee sleeves on the arms because I got ripped up last week. Do it if your arms get ripped up. Went on breaking the last 30 because I have to coach in four minutes. So I made it hurt. It's so hot, it's so hard to breathe. Alright, gotta coach. Guys, I had a quick question. So I know I made those Renaissance periodization uh, days of eating. And I was just wondering, you know, like, do you like those videos I make? Do you like seeing me eat 
all my meals throughout the day? Is it is it good content? I don't know. I mean, obviously I wanted to show people what Renaissance periodization is all about, but just a day of eating. I don't know if you guys enjoy that or not. If you'd want to see more, let me know in the comments because I don't want to overdo it. But if you like them, I, I'll I'll do it. I mean, I'm up for anything for you guys. So comment down below, right? Chris, I love I love watching you eat food or right, Chris, you're an idiot. Stop posting you eating turkey burgers every day. No one cares. Just let me know. Alrighty guys. Shh, we're at work. I'm gonna be quiet. So I forgot to sign off yesterday, but I'm signing off now. Have a good day. Subscribe, like, you know, for good content in the future. We'll see you later.